Hello everybody, so we are back with another video. I've been meaning to shoot videos of collecting again, but a lot of our machines have actually been taken out of service here again, and it's not looking promising for the rest of them. So I don't wanna just keep shooting the same locations over and over and over again, because I think it's just gonna to get too repetitive. So rather than do that, we would just either post videos like this trying to help people out with with their equipment maybe they can fix their own stuff uh, instead of having to pay people or buy new equipment and we'll we'll just have to go from there for now hopefully this doesn't last much longer we do have some new locations uh, in the works one is an arena and one is a hotel with a fairly large arcade setup so we're hoping those go through here soon the arena won't really matter because in our area they're actually shutting down um, so for hockey and whatnot you won't be allowed to go and watch the hockey but they will still be playing hockey which sucks for us but um, not much we can do about it and I would rather just tie up that arena so that once everything does go back to normal somebody else doesn't go in there uh, we can just be in there ourselves so anyways, for today, I figured I would do another video like the Tomy video, uh, but this time for Beaver. This, this coin Mac is the old style Beaver coin Mac. Uh, I don't know what years they use these from, but I do know that they don't use these ones anymore. Uh, this is the new style and personally, we're switching all of our machines over when we can to this style so much easier to work with and repair and whatnot it also has a lot less moving parts and stuff to replace and just better all around so i'll show you the differences i'll show you why we like it better and actually this one has an issue which i will show you here so it turns in reverse with a coin and it doesn't turn the right way so I will show you while I'm in there what is wrong. And unfortunately with these old ones, it's a common problem that happens frequently. Uh, but as you'll see here, uh, way harder to rebuild. So now some of these parts from the old to the new are interchangeable, some of them aren't. Most of the screws are the same, not all of them. Uh, but I'm not, I'm not going to go that in depth. I'm just going to show you how it comes apart, what normally fails, uh, what I like, what I don't like, and we'll go from there. So with these ones, this spring, it never fails, but it's kind of a pain when you're rebuilding them and you got to take this out because somebody jams a bunch of paper inside of it and whatnot. Um, and I'll show you why here. So now once you take that off, uh, my thumb is the only thing holding this down, so just watch that you don't pinch your finger or anything. So now these two pieces can stay with this uh, bracket. I can't remember what Beaver calls it. We've ordered them a couple times because uh, they've actually broken. So now this is the coin carrier uh, and actually a big problem that we have with this style of coin carrier for the old machines is if somebody jams something in here really badly and they, they have the ability to crank on this handle with something um, and this sometimes will crack here allowing this to just freewheel and until someone calls you or you go there they get free candy forever, which is part of the reason we've switched to these ones. Um, I'll show you the difference in coin carrier. Um, I'll show you the differences in the two coin carriers and just why this one will never do that. So the reason this one turned backwards is there's a spring that's supposed to go here and push on this pole and it's currently broken. And that happens frequently. One of these two springs will break um, and it just allows it to turn. So now the difference though is 
the combination of this and this stops it from turning this way as long as there isn't the proper coin in it. So this one detects the size of the coin, this one detects the, the thickness of the coin, and that there is a coin. Whereas this is the only one that stops it from going in reverse. So when that breaks, it just free wheels in reverse. Um, so I'll just put this back together now, show you guys how to put it back together. Um, I think those springs are self-explanatory, but if not, let me know. Uh, these paws do need to go in their respective spots though, you can't just put them anywhere. Now, this is just how I put this spring on, um, but there could be an easier way. It's just the easiest way that I've found. Uh, ultimately though, I don't really like these corn max. Now it is indexed, so you just gotta have that in the right spot and finish screwing it down. Now it can't turn. And this screw is, it needs to be the right screw. It is a different thread. So there you go. It's not fixed, but that's how you take it apart and put it back together. And then now for the new one. The new one is substantially different and substantially easier. As you can see, the ratchet wheel is not on the coin carrier side, which is why if somebody um, tries to jam it or whatever, never will this turn in reverse uh, because of that. And I mean, ultimately they're not gonna break that coin carrier no matter how hard they try. So. I will show you here how this one comes apart. So now I'd like to note, since this is different, this has a, not a ratchet, but like a clutch in it. And if you turn it too hard, the handle will just turn on its own. But sometimes they seize up and, and you can crank on them pretty hard. Now again, this does not need to come apart to get this out. So now here is the coin carrier. So that is a 25 cent coin mech as you can see there. So that comes out. So now there is a little spring there that needs to stay in there. And this needs to stay on that little Paul there. Sometimes it's a pain. So, put this back together, stick that in there. And, and actually, now that I see it, see how much thicker this is? That's why cranking on it and jamming it will never break this. Uh, we've had people jam some pretty stupid stuff in here and we've still never had one of these styles of coin max break. Um, this, you can change this ratchet mechanism too, but it's kind of a pain to pull that spring off and everything um, and you just don't need to. So to put this back together, throw that on, four screws,
So as you can tell, one of those is a lot easier to work on than the other one. And it's obvious why we like using the new Beaver Coin Mac than the old one. It's just so much easier if you gotta change from quarters to loonies or toonies. And if something does jam it or something does go wrong, which is very rare with the new ones, they're just so much easier to work on. That's why we're trying to phase out all the old ones as quickly as possible and just stick with all the brand new ones. If you have any suggestions for some new videos or some something you wanna see with a specific machine, whether it's electronic, cranes, kitty rides, Tommy toy machines, candy machines, just any anything in general that you guys have seen that you might be interested in. We can always make a video, um, especially with all the downtime we currently have. So that being said, if you guys do have any questions, it's not hard for us to uh, make a video on it, especially if we have the machine sitting in our, our garage or in our basement, which we have a lot of equipment or even in our storage unit. Um, like I said, I do have a bunch of new equipment coming in. Uh, one, one of those is a bubble hockey, which we've never had the experience of dealing with so far. And I'll probably do a video on me learning how to deal with it before I put it on location. We also have a foosball machine coming, which I've never had the opportunity to work on. Uh, three cranes and a key master. So, those will all be coming into the shop. I'll be setting them all up, make sure everything works, play them a couple times, and then package them all up to go to the new location. So I hope you guys like this video. If you do, please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.